Right, I just come from my tenant's yard and this video is going to be about bullying and um, you know fighting fire with fire and standing up to bullies and that. Just come from this tenant's yard and uh, the son was like secondary school age because I was chatting to him. So anyway, he's at home. It's not half term or nothing like that. And the boy didn't look sick. He didn't look ill. So anyway, I didn't. I did think to myself, why is my man, why is the little you at home? Why is he not at school? But anyway, I didn't even bother ask. Anyway, gone upstairs with the, the mum, testing the sockets and that. And she was like, yeah, the reason why my son is at home is because we homeschool him, just in case she was wondering. And um, basically she was saying that... Um, during the lockdown thing, you know, like a lot of youths and that was getting homeschooled and that, so they kind of jumped on, on that and they was doing that. But he had some problems in school and that, so the mum thought it was best to just take him out of school completely and homeschool him. So I said to her, was your son the problem or was it the school? I.e., was your son causing trouble or was he getting into trouble, i.e., bullying and that? And she was like, well, basically... He was kind of getting bullied a little bit and that. And I was saying to the mum, taking your child out of school because he's getting bullied is not the answer. I had to break it down to her. In life, there's always going to be bullies. Like people think that bullies just occur, bullying occurs in the playground or in the classroom. No. You're a madman if you think that. If you think that bullies only uh, exist in the playground and in school, you don't know nothing about life. Bullies exist in college, in uni, in um, in the workplace, in people's families. I told her, I know women who are like late 30s, maybe pushing 40s and that. And the younger sister bullies the older sister. There was this man out here, older man that bullied their younger brother. And these men are big men. These men are all 40, 50 years old. You can't escape bullies. You have to fight fire with fire. And I was basically explaining to her that, um, you know, I spoke about this before. I don't know if you remember, innit? but basically that was, there was this yardie man that was terrorizing a couple of people on my road and that. And um, for some reason, he must have had a problem with one young Turkish guy. When I say young guy, able-bodied, mid-20s, maybe late 20s or something. He was a couple of years older than me. Um, but at the time, he might have been like, yeah, late 20s. He must have put a shank outside, a knife, a kitchen knife outside the guy's doorstep and that. And the guy thought the best course actually was to move away. No. I'm not saying, man, for pick up and pull out and, you get me, juke man in their chest. I ain't saying that. But what I'm saying is, man, for fight fire with fire. You can't run away from bullies. You can't escape the sharks. It's only temporary. Now, in that situation, yeah, he's probably going to move somewhere and no one will ever put a knife on his doorstep and that. But, blah, man, for fight fire with fire. If I had a son that was getting harassed by bullies and that, boy, go to school and knock him out. Fight him. Because you know what? You're not going to win all battles. Yeah, In this world, you're not going to win all battles and that. Yeah, sometimes you're going to lose. Sometimes you're going to have to take the L. That's where it's going to have to be. We ain't getting pushed around out here. Innit? No way. Bullying occurs everywhere. In jail. There's man right now doing crime. Just because you're not a road man and that, don't think that you, you get me, you, you're going to be exempt from going to jail. There's man that do look at fraud, look at tax evasion, whatever. If you go to jail, you're going to be around man who have like a wolf mentality, you know. And man are going to want to pick on you and before you blink, there's three man in your cell. Waiting, they're there to take your cold gate and you can't eat and that. Can't escape the bullies. Had to even tell the woman... I had to deal with bullies in school and that. I was saying to her, and I wrote about this in my book. If you ain't read the book, go check out the hardback. Get your copy, your hardback copy, or get the ebook version if you don't want to spend the full twenty pound. The ebook ebook version is ten pound or nine ninety nine, and the hardback is uh twenty pound. Wrote about it in my book. When I was in school, man was a good youth. Man was not about no smoke. I never had to be about smoke. I grew up in a nice home. Man never grew up in an environment where, in my yard, where I had to fight and grow up rough. Man grew up nice. I grew up kind of soft. Um, wasn't pampered or sheltered and that, but I just wasn't in an environment where I had to grow up rough. Let me just make one point. You see them kids here that come that from a young age, they're rough. 
You understand? Like, you know that there's some kids like they're rough and aggressive and that. The reason why they're rough and aggressive is more than likely their household is rough and aggressive. They might have a, a dad that beats up their mum. So that's where they learn their violence from and that. So anyway, man was a cool you. I used to love play fighting and that when I was young, but I wasn't about beef or nothing like that. When I was in school, man used to buy and sell crispy drinks and that from the end of year seven throughout my school years and that to year 11. Anyway, boom. And I said to the woman that when I was in the playground and that, I used to be doing my thing and that. And I was like, you know when you feel like you're being watched? Not even feel like I know I'm being watched. There will be some youths. And they'll be sitting there, four man deep on the... It's a peak one still, one sec. I ain't even going to cut the recording or not. Shit happens, in it? Yeah, man's in school. Man's in school. And you know, like, when you feel like you're being watched. So you sitting on the bench. Next thing you know, them man are getting up. Next thing you know, my hoodie, my blazer's coming over my head. Them man are taking my stuff and that. Happened to me a few times. Man used to always be on tilt. I had to be vigilant when I'm in school and playground doing my thing. And one day, you know, like, when you just say enough is enough. You're like, fuck that. Hey man, they come over and we're playing tug of war with this bag, you know. Playing tug of war with this bag. And um, yeah, from there, man earned the respect of these youths in my in, in my year group and that. Man was getting me, you know what, no smoke with them, man, there. Next thing you know, I'm one of them, man, there. Next thing you know, the teachers are telling me that they think I'm the ringleader. They're like, whoa, you, 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 I think you're taking it a bit too far now, innit? But... Man, you gotta fight fire with fire. I'd rather become one of the wolves than be a little deer and be a victim. That don't mean that man's when I say become one of the wolves, that don't mean that man's a bully, but I'd rather join the pack um than be a victim and that. But that don't mean that man's gonna bully me up to make me join the pack as well. But what I'm saying is man will rather run with the wolves than be a deer. But you know what? If I have to be on my own and fight everyone, then it is what it is. Let me change this camera and it's getting on my nerves too. Oh, the recording flipping cancelled anyway. But, um, yeah, man, you got to fight fire with fire. I made that video the other day talking about the fireman that hung himself or whatever, committed suicide, whichever way he did it. Because he was getting bullied. He didn't fight back. He didn't stand up for himself. This is what happens. When people get bullied, they turn mad. And one of two things comes from it. They say, fuck this. They will either go on a mad spree where they're just going out, smacking up everyone. You see that film, I'm sure even in that film Juice with um, Tupac. I'm sure in that film Juice, my man turned mad. I'm sure he was getting pricked and he was getting punked and he turned mad. This is what happens to man them on the road when they get pricked and they get punked. They turn mad. A lot of the man that's the baddest man on the road, I guarantee they used to get bullied probably. And one day they say, you know, fuck this. Then they turn into a madman, stabbing and shooting and just putting in bare work on man on the road. So that's one way, that's what happens when people get bullied and that. The second way, when people get bullied and that, they probably go and kill themselves or hang themselves. Me and my cousin, um, he went to school with one you, and he said, yeah, in his area, Hornsey, this you, he wasn't rated whatever in it, yeah? He was a dickhead or something like that. My man went to Jamaica for a year, came back, the boss of Hornsey. In, the, in in their generation. Man for stand up for bullies. To, to bullies man. You can't run away. Yeah. You're, you're avoiding bullies in school and that. What, go on, what happens when you go to work? Where they, And the thing is as well. In work. It's, 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 it's easier to get bullied in work. By your managers. Because they have. By default. Authority over you. They have power over you. By default. Whereas the people them in your year group are that they have no power over you. Your bosses, your managers, directors, and that they have a natural authority over you. So it's easy for them to feel like they can bully you. There's bare people watching this right now. Guarantee there's people watching this right now. Their manager is, is talking to them a certain way or doing certain things to them, treating them a certain way, and they're afraid to say something. You're getting bullied, blood. You're getting bullied, fam. If your manager's doing something to you that you don't like, treating you a certain way, and you're scared to, you're getting bullied, fam.
you're getting bullied in it. It might be like some micro bullying, whatever, where you want to slice it or def define it. I don't care in it. You're getting bullied, fam. You're getting bullied. But you know what? It's all about the way you carry yourself, you know. Because trust me, man's even in position. I ain't even gonna... But anyway, man's in position where it's like, I feel like I'm, I, I'm the leader. You understand that? But I'm the employee. Like I've got a manager, and I feel like I'm more dominant than this person. And that's the way you carry yourself. It's the way you carry yourself. People know who to play with. You think, ah, oh, this person just bullies everyone. No, they don't. There's someone. There's a lot of people in this world. That person would not bully that person. Because people know who to play with. When men are all acting stupid and acting like a chief and that, and you don't check people, you don't put people in their place, no matter how big and rough and tough you are, you're always going to have to put people in their place. Me, I consider myself a tough guy. I'm one of the toughest guys that I know. I always have to stick it on people. Now, maybe me, I fly off the handle and stick it on people over nonsense, but it is what it is. It's the way you carry yourself. Even like dumb stuff. You be walking down the road and I don't, and you don't have to be a big guy as well. Kind of big guy. I'm 5'9". My way about 74, 76 kg. Slim. People, when they see me walking down the road, people move out of their way for me and that. I, I move out of the way for people. So it's not a like bullying thing, but what I'm saying is like, a lot of the time I know it's people move out of the way for me when I'm about to move out of the way. You know what I'm saying, isn't it? Um, even the other day, I'm walking with my girl like around like the local area and that. And there was some 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 white youths, I don't know, like 22 or something like that. We met them at like a point where the two paths connect and it goes into one path. So they see me and that, and one of them's kind of slowed down. So two of them, so this this boy and this girl's walked ahead. Then I've kind of gone in the in the middle with my girlfriend, and there's one guy behind. So anyway, we're walking, we're all walking really close to each other. Like if anyone didn't know. They would think that we was all together kind of thing. Because walking so close. The guy from the back's like, yo, let, let my man through in it. Fam, when you are when you got a certain presence about you, people make way for you and that. Stand up to bullies, man. You can't escape the bullies. You can't run away from the sharks. Forever. Anyway, man, I'm starting to get hot. But that's that's basically what I want to talk about today, man. Woman's taking her youth out of school, homeschooling him and that because you're getting bullied. But what happens when he goes college? What happens when he goes uni? What happens when he gets into the workplace and that? Can't run away from the wolves, man. Stay away, it's done though.